Haz's fans have no idea. Sussex's fans bear with a sore head as their idol can't get extra security. Prince Harry's fans in the US have reacted angrily to the Home Office decision to deny the Duke his request to pay for special police protection in the UK. Royally obsessed podcast host Rachel Bowie has slammed the security decision pointing to the fact Prince Harry has expressed a desire to fund the close protection himself. She added that an incident in London in the summer of 2021 when the paparazzi chased the Duke's car made her sick to my stomach, and demonstrated Prince Harry's need for security on trips home to the UK. Ms Bowie told the podcast, someone's offering to foot the bill for their security and there's no reasoning to me why this would be an obstacle. Also I think it makes me really reflective on all of our conversations here we're constantly saying, gosh Harry and Meghan just bring Lilibet. But he can't, he absolutely can't if he doesn't have safety and especially in relation to this event that happened last July, he was there solo luckily, imagine if he was there with the kids. That's not cool and one thing I want to say also about this whole thing is just, I think something that comes up a lot on this show is that what we experience is the fact that people tend to be you know, be pro Cambridge or pro Sussex. They really are in these different camps and it's a little polarizing, or a lot polarizing, and that's something we witness a lot. The royally obsessed host continued, but I think with an incident like this hearing that Harry has gone through this, I think the common ground for royal fans is that we are pro-Diana. And so for me, I felt sick to my stomach thinking that Harry experienced something that was so similar to what killed his mother. Prince Harry has expressed a reluctance to bring Archie and baby daughter Lilibet to visit from the US over security concerns. The UK will always be Prince Harry's home and a country he wants his wife and children to be safe in, the legal representative for the Duke said in a statement. With the lack of police protection, comes too great a personal risk. The representative added, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex personally fund a private security team for their family, yet that security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed whilst in the UK. In the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return to his home. On June 30 last year, Prince Harry met seriously ill children and young people at a well-child garden party and afternoon tea in Kew Gardens, West London, it is understood the Duke's car was chased by photographers as he left. Prince Harry's mother Diana died in a car crash after she was chased by the paparazzi in Paris. The legal representative added, Prince Harry inherited a security risk at birth, for life. He remains sixth in line to the throne, served two tours of combat duty in Afghanistan, and in recent years his family has been subjected to well-documented neo-Nazi and extremist threats. While his role within the institution has changed, his profile as a member of the royal family has not. Nor has the threat to him and his family. Meanwhile, the royals will breathe a sigh of relief if Prince Harry and Meghan Markle fail to make Prince Philip's memorial, an expert has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were expected to return to the UK later this year to join the Queen and the rest of the firm to celebrate the monarch's platinum jubilee. While Her Majesty also agreed for a service of thanksgiving at Westminster Abbey for the late Duke of Edinburgh to be held on an as yet unspecified date, reports the Daily Star. Harry, 37, attended his grandfather's funeral alone last April after jetting over from the US without Meghan, 40, who was pregnant and advised not to travel by doctors.